short little stick here. This is maple. It's been drying for a bit. It's going to be short, probably a cane. Uh, let's see what it looks like under the bark. <laughs> So we're looking to add a little topper to it, a little something special on top. So we have this leftover round piece of red oak. Um, had this from when we did the uh, horns for the ram beer tap. It was the inside of the horns. So I've always kept it because it's nice, so that's going to be good. I'm going to put a little threaded rod in to hold that in place. And then to top it off, a lighter piece of wood just on top of that. So we're going to glue this together and then mount it to the stick. Make a nice little topper for a king.
So we've gone through sanding all the way up to, I think, 320. So it's nice and smooth. The grain's rather nice on this maple. The spiral's coming out beautiful. Adds a nice little touch to it. But what we want to do, especially for this uh, sort of end grain all the way around for the red oak, is hit it with a little bit of steel wool. It's the uh, 4 aught or 4 zero steel wool, which is the finest grade. Just take a little piece. What we're going to do is basically polish this up. You see how that's already changing color. Let me just do one spot here. So see how it's dull? And the spot we just did, it's got already a nice shine to it. You're basically polishing it. And that adds a nice, perfect finish, especially here on the end grain of the red oak. And that's going to pop nicely when we put oil on. So let me finish this up, especially around the handle, where we want it nice and smooth. It's already very nice, but a little bit more polish never hurts. So maybe another hour of uh, polishing, and it'll be ready for oil. So all polished up. You can see that shine. Look at that grain already. There's a little dark streak. Maybe seems to have gone through the tree itself or the branch. That's going to pop nicely, all the way down to the tapered bottom. Quite small. I thinned it out, maybe uh, maybe an inch at the thickest. Um, nice top. That's going to be a nice contrast. So, we're doing a little bit of uh, Watco teak oil. I think this color is going to pop very nicely. Oh yeah. That green is fantastic. All that sanding. Really paying off. Even on top. And the maple, of course, turning into a nice light brown, so it gives that nice contrast between the two woods. But the green is popping. I don't know if you can see that here, but the green is popping out nicely.